I'm gonna give you the best upper body workout that you can take with you to the gym today to get that dummy pump rolling. And we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dave Miller from GarageStrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in increasing your upper body strength, you wanna get a nice pump in those shoulders, you wanna increase your incline bench, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you become a beast. So a lot of times we go to the gym and we have no idea what we're even gonna be doing. We just walk in and we're like, all right, what am I gonna do today? And you sort of meander throughout the gym, you're looking at various equipment, and all of a sudden maybe a random idea pops into your head and you just start working out on that piece of equipment. The problem with that approach, that shotgun approach, is that you're not actually following a design program. You're not actually following a program with a specific goal. And that's a key factor here is that when you have a program for a specific day and you have a specific goal that you're trying to achieve, you know then that you can put all of your energy towards whatever that goal is going to be. And so today's workout, we're gonna do an upper body workout that you can take to the gym today and execute. The whole focus is gonna be based around increasing that upper body pressing strength while increasing the size, the sarcoplasmic hypertrophy of your actual upper body musculature. So that's the key factor here. We wanna look for some serious potentiation, okay? We wanna have some serious neural drive by increasing that load on, in our case, the incline bench. And then after that, we really, really wanna target some long duration sets with minimal rest, okay? So we're looking for that neural drive that will then increase our sarcoplasmic hypertrophy later on in the workout. So you're gonna get a big time pump. Okay, so we're gonna start off this workout with an incline bench. And the whole goal here is that we're doing a nice, easy warm up. We wanna work up doing doubles or triples, okay? And here's a key factor, is one of those big aspects behind supersets is that if we do an incline bench, okay, let's say we do a double or a triple at 315 on the incline bench. In between, if we can do 15 to 20 rear delt flies, okay, so we're gonna do standing reverse flies. And we're gonna be using our gold power elastic bands that are available at garagestrength.com. Click on the link down below, you can pick yours up today. So if we're gonna be utilizing that band in between, it's not gonna be extremely difficult but it's gonna help us recover, it's gonna continuously wake up our upper back, and that's gonna in turn lead to better performance on the incline bench. So the whole goal is we wanna ramp up to a heavy set of two or three reps, okay? So get to the point where you're at 365, 385 for a double or a triple, and then after each set on the incline bench, we're gonna drop down to those standing reverse flies, and then we're gonna finish off for a one or two sets of 17 reps. Let's say you put 225 on and you just rep 225 almost to failure. And then you're gonna finish that rear delt, that standing rear delt work for a set of 20 to 25 reps. That last set of the reverse flies, you can really work to a little bit closer to true fatigue, okay? But the whole goal here, we've gotta remember the whole goal is neural drive and potentiation. So if we can increase the strength of our upper body inside of our workout, now as we get into our next couple of sets, we can actually use higher weight for a lot more reps and that's when we're gonna increase our strength and drastically increase our muscle mass because mechanical tension, the mechanical overload is gonna be heightened. Okay, so that's gonna take us into our second exercise and I actually want you to not superset this second exercise. The reason being is that we're gonna let our chest have a little bit of a breather, okay? So we had six or seven sets we had that, that crazy neural adaptation, right, from that heavy weight that we're utilizing. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna work on some more back work, some more lat strength. So if we're gonna get into that chest-supported incline barbell row, here's the key factor, okay? We're not supersetting this, but I want the rest period to be about 45 to 60 seconds, that's it. And what I wanna do is put on 135, put on 155, nothing crazy heavy. You get on that incline bench, and you just row for 20 to 25 reps, you put it down, you rest about 45 to 60 seconds, and then you execute 20 to 25 reps again. That's gonna lead to some serious fatigue, and now we're gonna have that sarcoplasm starting to come into our cells, okay? And that's when we're starting to get that good pump. Now, that's gonna take us, we're potentiated in that upper back, 
We're potentiated in our upper body. That's gonna take us into our kneeling banded fly and our banded front raise. So here's the key concept, okay? Once we get that good stimulation and once we're under a whole bunch of mechanical loading here, we don't need a ton of tension to continuously lead and force that adaptation, okay? We don't need a ton later on in the workout, so we can get away with doing some more banded work. I like doing kneeling banded flies. We're gonna target the chest. The chest is already potentiated, okay? So we're gonna do 17 to 20 reps on kneeling banded flies, and we're gonna superset that with a front raise. So we're gonna really be focusing on that anterior upper body, okay, during this superset. So one of those key concepts, this is gonna be all posterior upper body in that chest supported incline barbell row. And now that second superset down here is gonna be focusing on our anterior upper body with a little bit less tension. That's why we can sit there, we can do 17 to 20 reps over four sets. And that's gonna be about 160 to 200 reps just with these two movements. But because the load is a little bit less, you're able to handle that. Now, keep that rest about 30 seconds between each exercise and that's going to help you have that big time pump you're going to start to feel the blood coming into that upper body area you're going to start to feel the sarcoplasm get into your muscles and all of a sudden you're going to struggle to put your seatbelt on after this workout so again smash that chest supported incline barbell row you get about 60 seconds rest come into this double set the super set right here you get that kneeling banded fly and that banded front raise now we're going to finish off on the smith machine okay remember the whole goal behind this neural drive sarcoplasmic pump that's the goal okay so we've got to think about that now we're getting into that last super set so the last super set is going to be close grip bench on the Smith machine and a short stroke chest row, okay? So when we're on the Smith machine, we don't have to worry as much about controlling the weight. We also can push ourselves significantly further because we don't need to have a spotter. We can go to the point of absolute failure, okay? And a lot of guys like to shy away from that true failure, but if we want growth, especially as natural lifters, we need to push as far as we possibly can. That's why you'll see even natural bodybuilders doing crazy, crazy drop sets to get that stimulation for big muscular adaptation. So we're gonna do close grip bench on the Smith machine. This is gonna be targeting a lot more of our triceps and a little bit of our inner pecs. And we're gonna superset that with short stroke chest row. So I like to lean forward just a little bit and get a shorter range of motion. That means if I'm on that close grip bench, I can put on 225, 275, and I can still go as long as I possibly can. And as my reps diminish in the length, I can actually get really close to failure and then just hook it right into the Smith machine. I can get off, I'm gonna rest about 30 to 45 seconds, and then I'm gonna get on that short stroke row. Now I'm getting on that short stroke row and I'm gonna go 20 to 30 reps as close as I possibly can to failure, and then I'll rest about a minute and a half. Okay, so we wanna do that for four sets. Embrace the Smith machine, it's okay. It's not gonna ruin your life. People aren't gonna judge you negatively. They're not gonna call you names. You're gonna get bigger, they're gonna stay small, and it's okay that you did that on the Smith machine to finish off your workout. So take this workout with you to the gym today. You can hit up nice fly warm up with some push ups. You go through that big time incline bench, the rear delt flies, and this might take you about a half hour to execute. You gotta give that nervous system a little bit more time to recover to increase that strength. Then we're gonna get into that short period with the chest supported incline barbell row. We wanna squeeze at the top for more retraction in that upper back. And then finally, the last four exercises are gonna be a little bit easier. They're gonna be a little bit easier to control with the band and being on the Smith machine, but from a mental perspective, you've gotta dig deeper. You've gotta push yourself through that metabolic stress because that's where the metabolic adaptation will actually occur. If we can metabolically stress ourselves to a high degree, that's when you're gonna get that big time growth. So if you need help with a program to increase your lean muscle mass, you wanna get bigger, you wanna get stronger, click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up our 12 week mass builder program that we designed specifically to increase your muscle mass. If you want more content around upper body based training, you can click on this card right here. Until next time guys, peace.